Dell Optiplex 3000. This model came out in 2022. It has a generation 12 Intel i5 in it, six cores, 300 gigahertz. This is a floor model. This was discontinued in 2023. We only have a 7000 series, but back in 2022, we had the 3000, a low end, the mid tier 5000, and a 7000, a high end model. Uh, I wanted to review this PC just because it's an Optiplex. I'm not actually familiar with all these uh, models. Then the reason why, because they are so reliable. For some reason, uh, I see uh, a lot of 2060 or 3070 and those are started coming out of production now and we are replacing them with a 7010 or a 7020. Uh, if I put a brand new PC out, a Dell Optiplex on your desk and you have a business, uh, you're crunching numbers, you have a front desk, you're in a medical field, uh, you're in a customer service, you're in, in manufacture or uh, producing something, or you're in a financial sector, or you're in education, these business class machines are unavoidable. As of today, we still could not come up with anything better than this machine, which was built by either Dell or HP or Lenovo. And if you're a non-technical person, I would say these computers are Toyotas or Hondas, except they are more reliable. If this would be a car, uh, 300,000 miles all day long, all of them will be able to pass that mark. I'm going to put this PC out on your desk. I'm going to hit the power button. This PC can and will run in 24-7 for the next 6 to 8 years. But I have some customers when this can be pushed out to 10 to 12. And they are there. Those computers are still running every single day. I cannot ask for a better machine. If you're a gamer, you're going to laugh on these computers just like every other Artiplex review. Uh, I made it has a 180 watt Dell custom power supply. There is no pin uh, for an additional uh, dedicated video card. Uh, we, we have a Dell custom motherboard. We have a Dell custom CPU cooler, which is also laughable. But in general, this PC as it is, it is super reliable, extremely easy to work with, with all these Dell custom parts. I think the whole entire computer has 12 or 14 screws in it. I can unload the whole entire PC, pull out every single component in minutes with a single screwdriver. I don't even need a desk. I can do it on a floor or on the top of the car, anywhere technically, and put it back, assemble it back. However, I don't need to. I've been using Dell Artiplex for 16 years. I think I had one motherboard replacement and one CPU replacement, and we are always seeing about 1,100 of these computers. They are absolutely amazing what they are. Uh, some people uh, think that they are expensive. Uh, 13 generation right now with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, Windows 11 Pro. You can get that PC for $650, $700. The new is about $700 or $800. Uh, they are not gaming computers. They don't need dedicated video cards. If you walk into a hospital, this is probably what they're going to have. Education, bank any kind of customer service when they're crunching numbers and data entry this is what they need because it's built for that and it's really delivering every single one of these models so far going all the way back from 16 years ago until yesterday i'm so confident i had i this is amazing as it is so let's look at the performance with the i5 and uh, I wanted to have some fun. I upgraded the RAM to DDR4. This is all what this model can handle. 32 gig. I put the Samsung 980 Pro in it. A one terabyte. As you can see, this uh, the performance should be around 7,000 regards of reading. We're nowhere near. So let me put the two performance together. The original 250 SSD and the Samsung one terabyte Pro. Uh, obviously, this is a floor model, the 3000 model. There's going to be a lot of problems, especially uh, when I put the i9K CPU. First of all, I am surprised and shocked that the i9K CPU worked even with an old BIOS. Obviously, there is no overclocking, but still, it is just I just put it in. This is what I had, and it works. It's recognized as a K CPU, and, and it works. Unfortunately, when we're running multi-core applications 
Intel Extreme tuning points out that uh, we're not getting enough power from the circuit board, therefore the performance is crippled. Uh, in a single core application, we got a double whammy because the CPU cooler is not good enough, so we got throttled by the heat, and also the same problem, not getting enough power to run the, the CPU uh, on a higher speed. So this is not a gaming computer. It's actually hard to modify, hard to find parts which would fit in and would work even a CPU fan. A lot of custom fans are not recognized by the Dell motherboard that they're actually spinning working properly. So yeah, it's always a pain. I went to this process. Uh, it's absolutely unnecessary to upgrade this PC. Uh, this is just a quick review. Let me move the side uh, panel out so, so you see how this PC is actually built or what's inside. Very easy to work with. Again, two screws. Uh, literally, the side cover just uh, slides away or pulls away from the PC. As you can see, we only have bare minimum parts. I removed, uh, there is a 3.5 inch bay metal bracket in here, which has an optional sliding space for a DVD. Uh, we have the cables already here for a DVD. We also have the cables already here for a 3.5 or 2.5 SATA or a hard drive if you need to. As you can see, Dell custom power supply with a custom connector. We have two slots for DDR4 RAM. We have a PCI Express 16 in here. We have one slot only either for a 2230 or a 2280 M2 solid state. You can have an internal Wi-Fi antenna. And that's pretty much it. Custom Dell CPU cooler. Again, the benefit of this, you can remove everything from this PC in minutes and you can put everything back in minutes. Extremely simple. I don't need to read instructions. I don't need to watch training videos. I see, if you've seen one from 15 years ago, nothing really changed. We're following the same footsteps. I absolutely love this PC. So let me show you the chart and let me uh, show you side by side what's the difference between the i5 and the i9. 3D Mark. PC Mark. Cinebench. Geekbench. Let's look at the solid state. And that's that's pretty much it this PC again is not a gaming machine it's not a high powered machine I absolutely love uh, what day for I just wanted to throw these parts in it I already had it here in a studio wanted to see how they, how they perform maybe it will help out uh, some of you uh, and uh, you don't need to spend your money on it just to find out that they are not working great in this low 3000 model the 7000 model probably makes more sense that has a 300 watt power supply and uh, even with not with the small factory phone but the mini tower that was actually offering uh, the i9 12, 12900k cpu in it so i'm sure that works properly in there it was just a surprise for me that even this cpu is actually functional and able to to work uh, on some level this channel is unsponsored there are no affiliate links there's nothing to sell or nothing to purchase uh, you are the sponsor of this uh, channel by watching this video if you find it helpful or useful please consider hitting the like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. I see you in the next video. Scott's out.